Hello my friends, my name is Ron from Magic from Holland and together with our good friend Ferry the Reamer we have created a great piece of card magic, mental card magic and we call it hashtag how. It has become one of my favorite card routine and I will show you right now in a full and uncut version why that is. Enjoy! How good is your imagination? Not very good, but... Uh... I'll try to do something anyway. Can you imagine that this is a prediction card? Yes. Yes, because it is, actually. Okay, and right here I have a deck of uh, red playing cards, contrasting color. And can you imagine that uh, even though it's a shuffle deck, they are in a specific order? Can you imagine that? Yes. Yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's plausible to, to, to have that. Let's imagine that all the four of our kinds are together. Yes. So, for example, the four uh, twos here, and the four queens, and the four aces, and the four kings, yes. they are stick yes. together, okay? You could imagine that. Yes. Okay. Most magicians start their uh, card tricks by saying, pick a card. Yes. But I'm not gonna do that. Because I don't want to force you and influence you in any way. As you can see, the cards are a little bit spread, so maybe I'm trying to force you this card, or here the cards are stick together, so I don't want you to pick that card. I want you to be to pick a completely random card. And I think the best way to do that is to give me a number. But don't make it too easy, don't make it too hard. Let's say a number between 10 and 40. It's a pretty big range. Go ahead and name me any number you like. 21. 21. Yes. Fair enough. Let me count to the 21st card. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. But like I said, the four of a kind are stick together. So let me remove the four of a kind located near your selection. Can you imagine that these are the four, let's say, the four aces? Can you imagine yes, that? Yes, yes it's, it's, it's pretty good. Now, I want you to, you just have selected the four aces, but we go one step further. I want you to select uh, one of the cards. Um, go ahead and touch one card, go ahead, and move it towards the blue card. Okay, that's the card you have selected. You could imagine, can you imagine that this is um, a red card, a red ace? Yes. Can you imagine that? Yes. Okay, cool. Can you imagine that it is uh, the ace of hearts? Yes. Yes. Let me try to see if your imagination has actually come true because you have indeed selected the ace of hearts, which is pretty good. Yes. But I made a prediction earlier. And in fact, it oh. is exactly the same card. Okay. That's good, right? That's good. Yes. But you know what really is a good part? Is to remove everything out of your imagination. Because what if you have picked this one? This is the clubs. But I, you didn't. So I have actually re removed the clubs from your imagination, turning it into a blank card. Same as the diamond, same as the space, because they are only your in fact, you could have picked any card, but you didn't. You could have picked any card, but every card in your imagination does only exists in your imagination. Wow. And that, no, actually it's called how, but okay. you get the point. Thank you.